Come here. Come here. Oh. Yes. Take a look at this. A beautiful buttermilk racer. Oh, such a cool little snake. Look at that. We actually went flipping. Oh, uh, easy. <laughs> it's quite defensive. Wow. Absolutely. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I am in the Southeast Texas area and I am looking for a very special type of snake. Now, this is a species of snake that I've, a few friends have seen in the area, and I'm hoping to find one because I have never found one of these before. Today, we are looking for the Buttermilk Racer, which is an extremely fast diurnal snake, and hopefully, we're able to get a hold of one because they're very quick. And as you can see, this forest is pretty scrubby and one could get away from us pretty easily. So we're hoping to hike up on one of these like, absolutely gorgeous snakes. So hopefully our luck will be in our favor. So stay tuned and just maybe we will get to see a fantastic buttermilk racer. What'd you see? I thought I had some. Yes, take a look at this. A beautiful buttermilk racer. Oh, I'm really surprised that I was able to nab that one so quickly because as the name might suggest, these are incredibly quick snakes. Now take a look at those beautiful specks this animal has. Oh, wow. Look at the colors actually. Right here, right above the, the ventral scales. It's kind of like a hodgepodge of rainbow colors. Blues and pinks and creams. This is a really nice buttermilk. And this is actually my first buttermilk racer. We're here in Southeast Texas, uh, where you can regularly encounter uh, these gorgeous, gorgeous snakes. Now, on top of being super speedy, hi, it's okay, I'm not gonna eat you. On top of being super speedy, these snakes will regularly prey on other snakes. Uh, so they are um, very adept at hunting their own kin. Uh, so they'll grab other uh, species of snakes, even other venomous snakes, uh, or rather should I say venomous snakes, because these are non-venomous. Uh, they will grab other snakes, constrict them, strangle them, or break their neck, and then they will swallow them. Wow, this is a really nice one. Hi. Oh, such a cool little snake. Look at that. Very attentive. Now it's it's kind of uh, later afternoon, which is a good window of activity for these snakes um, because they're actually one of our more diurnal species. It's not at all uncommon to see these zoop, zipping past um, on trails like exactly like this one uh, as they're looking for new places to hide or prey on the move. Wow, look at that. See where they kind of get that name, buttermilk, those little kind of cream little specks all over the body. This is a really nice little juvenile. Wow. Now this is, a you know, medium sized. Uh, a lot of different species of racers can get regularly over six feet. Uh, so they can become quite impressive snakes. Look at that. Oh, oh, easy. Don't, it's okay. I'm not going to eat you or anything. Now she's realized there's a face for her to try and bite. Look at the two tones there. What? <laughs> she's like, just tracking me. She's like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? But look at that, almost kind of purple pink, and then comes up into this kind of blue gray. Wow, I would say this is one of our more beautiful snakes, that's for sure. Now these animals inhabit uh, um, a small array of different ecosystems. You can find them in deciduous forests like this and kind of bordering um, kind of grassland, prairies. Uh, so they are able to inhabit a, a few different ecosystems because um, they're pretty gregarious in what they'll feed on. They, they'll, they'll eat 
quite a lot of things. Other snakes, lizards, skinks, uh, sometimes little frogs. Um, and once they get large enough, even mammals uh, are on the menu. So they do quite well, uh, even with habitat fragma fragmentation, excuse me, even with habitat fragmentation, uh, they're still able to uh, get a lot of food. Um, but that doesn't mean that this is a super uh, easy snake to find all the time. So we're really happy that we were able to get this stellar little buttermilk racer. What a cool animal. You guys are always asking me for more snake videos. This is an amazing snake to feature. Absolutely killer. Really, really nice. We actually went flipping. Uh, oh, easy. We actually went flipping uh, for these earlier and we weren't able to find any. So then we came to this little uh, wooded area in hopes to find uh, some other snakes and some other animals to show you guys. Um, and we were surprised with a lovely little buttermilk racer. Our, our hard work was uh, rewarded, but look at that. Super alert, super quick, very, very charismatic little snakes. Wow, nice little belly scales there. Look at that. I mean, does that not just look like, you know, sherbet or something? Cotton candy? Look, that's like cotton candy colors. Blue and pink. Really, really nice. Oh, what a cool, cool, cool snake. Oh, absolutely fantastic. We're going to try and get some shots of this little girl. Ooh, easy. We're going to try and get some shots of her now that she's kind of calm. Hopefully she doesn't get away from us um, so we can incorporate some of those awesome colors and scales and beautiful looks whoa, whoa. what are you looking at it's okay <laughs> she's like i'm finished it's okay we just need you for a little bit longer and then you can get on your way all right we're gonna try and get some shots well we don't want to keep our beautiful beautiful buttermilk racer for too long so watch as we release her hopefully she can showcase once again that namesake racer name here we go. It's okay. Look at that. Look at how speedy that is. You'd have a hard time. She's kind of still wanting to be defensive, but you would have a hard time getting up after that. Go on, you okay. Wow, absolutely amazing snake. Look at how quick she's moving. There she goes, off to a little brush pile. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun. This is my first buttermilk racer, so I'm nice and jazzed up for the rest of the day. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything else. Buy the new merchandise. It's pretty cool when it's not drenched in sweat. And above all else, stay tuned for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.